Good afternoon, class. Welcome to today's lesson. My name is Oden Anita, and I'm here to teach you on agricultural science. That is the subject. And our topic today is germination. What is germination? Now, germination topic. Germination, that is the definition. Germination is a process whereby a seed grows into a young plant. I take it again. Germination is a process whereby a seed grows into a young plant. Types of germination. Types of germination. There are two types of germination. Namely, number one, number one, epigenetic germination. Number two, we have apogenetic germination. Now, epigenetic germination is the type of germination whereby the cotyledon is found above the soil level. I take it again. Epigenetic germination is a type of germination whereby the cotyledon is found above the soil level. Now, what, what you see is that the epigenetic germination, you found out that the seed, when the seed grows up, the, it breaks into two parts and then the leaves come out. That is the plumo, what is known as plumo. Now, let's go back to the examples. Examples of epigenetic germination. Number one, we have bean seed. We have mango seed. We have pepper seed. We have uh, tomato seed and it, it seed. There, there are so many of them. We have also melon seed, okra seed. They are part of epigenetic germination. Now look at the, the drawing. This is a bean seed. You are familiar with beans. This is a bean seed and now it's been planted into the soil. Look at, this is the soil level. And here, this is what is called the cotyledon. This is what is called what? The cotyledon. The seed could break into two parts and then it's the plumu, you find out that the plumu is up. Whenever you see the, the plant of a, a granule seed, you, you will find out that the, you see the you can see the granule seed, how it divides into two parts. And then this is the soil level. You see this this uh, the the cotyledon is out and then the plumu shoot out. That is the it will turn to the leaves. And then the radical down the soil here grew and became, uh, it will grow up and become a root. Now, the second one is the hypogee germination. The hypogee germination. What is hypogee germination? Hypogee germination is a type of germination in which the cotyledon remains below the soil. The soil level that is, you will uh, that is, you will find out that the 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 cotyledon is you won't see the cotyledon you only see the plume so, something like this you only see the plume and the examples of this this um, plants are we have number one we have coconut seed we have uh, maize seed we have millet seed we have guinea corn seed we have even yam seed is part of it now let's look at the drawing of what hypogee germination okay let's look at the drawing of hypogee germination this is the hypogee germination drawing and here you have the plume you have the soil level and also you have the radical what is missing the thing that you can see here and this one they are different diagram because here you find out that the cotyledon is above the soil, the soil level. Look at the soil level here, and look at the cotyledon up. Shoot, it shoots up. And here you find out that the cotyledon is beneath the soil, that is inside the soil. You cannot see it. This is how its own, the, this is the type of uh, germination. This one has its own, its own uh, cotyledon below the soil. 
Now, let's look at the condition necessary for germination to take place. We have number one, we have this referred, that is the condition necessary for germination. This refers to things that make it possible for germination to take place. To take place. Number one, we have, we, we have what is what? Good seed. You have to have a very good seed to plant. If your seed has hole, you should select it. If you want to plant, do not use a, a, a seed that is, is bad. You have to use good seed so that it will yield you a good, a good uh, growth of a plant. And also water. Water too. We need water. We human beings need water. And also plants also need water to survive. Plants also take water. And they take it. Where did they get their water? Under the soil. They get it from the soil. And also they need sunlight. We also need sunlight to warm our body. Plants also need sunlight to warm their body. They also need air to cool their body. You can see some plants will be, uh, they will be trembling, they will be moving. You see the leaves when, 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 there's, when there's air, you will see them, they will be happy. You see them moving, waving. We human beings also need air. We breathe in air and also plants also breathe in air. And their air is called carbon dioxide. Then, good soil. Good soil also it is uh, necessary for the plant. If you if you if you plant in a bad soil, the, your germination will not take place. Also, temp, uh, favorable temperature. The temperature should be good, like that of a pepper. You don't need too much sun. It doesn't need too much heat. You don't need too much water. Okay, now our homework today. Now, homework, plant a seed of your choice into a container. When it germinates, take a picture of it and send it to my WhatsApp. Sorry, to my WhatsApp. Send it to... Send it to... To my... My WhatsApp page. Thank you. We have come to the end of the today's lesson. I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful and beautiful weekend. Bye.